Coach, first meet of the season here um, at the USF Invitational. Uh, what are some thoughts after today's meet? Yeah, it was a good start to the season. I, I think it's really fun. Open up at home, get a lot of you know athletes, friends, you know family. Um, really cool environment and uh, a great way to start the meet with just kind of a, a low-key meet for us. Um, kind of work on competing, get to test the fitness coming off the summer, and um, kind of helps us start to plan out what are going to be some of the big bulls down the road. And uh, I thought we had some really strong uh, performances up at the front uh, on the men's side, getting us started. Um, Zach came home ninth, top 10. Uh, Ethan also making his uh, USF debut with Zach as well. Um, finished 16th, so cool to see those guys perform well. Uh, on the women's side, uh, Natalia, um, top 10 uh, finish for her. Um, looks like it's going to be a strong season for that group, and uh, we'll get back to training and uh, have our next one in a few weeks here, and we'll, we'll have some a few more people making their debut that we held out today. Just we had a few folks have very long summers, which is a good thing. Meant they were racing uh, nationally and internationally, and so we'll uh, get back to full strength here in a few weeks and uh, keep the season moving. Knowing that um, you, know, you mentioned like not everyone ran today, um, what are some expectations heading into the rest of the season here, knowing that you're going to have a little bit more stronger runners go? Yeah, you know, it's, it's going to be interesting. We have a lot of new people. Um, we added a few transfers, um, some, some impact first years. And so, you know, it's hard to say. We don't want to limit ourselves. I think we have very big goals for the year. Um, but it's also going to be really fun just to see how does this group come together, right? Um, some really strong returners, some new impact runners, and um, we're excited. Um, we're going to be making the trip out to Paul Short uh, next uh, in October, which will give us a chance to compete against some of the top teams in the country and from different areas of the country that we don't typically see. And I think that'll be a really good measuring stick for uh, what championship season is going to look like for us. On the women's side, as you mentioned, Natalia, you know, 10th place here. Um, what did you see from her as a whole, and like, how do you, where do you see her going from here uh, towards the end of the season? Yeah, you know, she moved up really well. The plan was kind of to get out, relax for her. I think she was 35th uh, after the first 2K loop um, here, and, and moved her way into the top 10. Kind of had the biggest climb of anybody that finished even inside the top 20, um, which was she executed, and, and that's really what we wanted to do today. I think she's setting herself up to have a great season and, and be one of the, the contenders in, in the WCC come November and. And we'll see how high up at, at, at the NCAA region level she can finish. But I think she's starting to really prove herself as a great cross-country runner, you know, having made the NCAA rounds on the track. I think this is a season where she's really going to break out in cross-country. And Zach, the top, the top male uh, today, finishing ninth in USF debut, as you mentioned. Um, knowing that he hasn't raced here before, how, how, how comfortable was he um, you know, going out there today? Yeah, he looked great. You know, similar plan um, for Zach as Natalia. Wanted to be, you know, a little bit relaxed early work our way into it. You know, he started outside of the top 20 uh, competitors, worked his way inside of that top 10. He was kind of talking to me during the race, which I think is a good sign. He was feeling comfortable and, again, executed the plan. And um, we'll get back to training for him as well. And I think similar goals. I think he can establish himself as uh, one of the top runners in the, the WCC, which is obviously a strong conference. Um, but uh, he's familiar with it, came in from Portland, so he spent some time in the WCC. But I'm excited to see him uh, with a strong debut for us here at USF. And up next, you got the Paul Short run up over at Lehigh, you know, cross country travel here. Uh, knowing that a lot of these, you know, these runners haven't been on the East Coast, uh, you know, what kind of a different environment do you expect in that race? Yeah, I think it'll just be new teams, right? I, I think we re get really familiar with the, the California schools and, and the West Coast schools. And so um, I think it'll be a new environment to seeing a, a wide range of schools from across the country. Um, you know, it's a course there that can run very fast, which is always fun. We always want to set those personal bests, but uh, it's also a course where you can really compete. It's very wide, um, lots of room to run, and um, I think it's going to just provide a really good uh, kind of preview of some of our championship races to come when we head into WCC championships and CLA regionals. We're going to get very similar competition levels, so it'll be a good test for us.